Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Remember how well you used to sleep before work, before stress, before kids, before age? What if I told you there truly was a way that you could go back to sleeping better every single night? There is. It's on a sleep number bed. I've told you about my sleep number bed for years. Right now, my sleep number is an 85. Carla's is a 65. And she sleeps like a baby. Uh, We each get to set our own firmness. All sleep number beds are available with Sleep IQ technology. It tracks your sleep by using the dual air technology inside the bed. Sleep IQ will tell you exactly how to adjust for the best sleep of your life. There's nothing to wear, nothing to turn on. All you have to do is sleep, my friend, and that is easy on a bed this great. Listen to me. This is important. My sleep number setting is an 85. Carlos is a 65. I've told you that before. Last night, my sleep IQ score was huh? 92. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Come in right now and save from $300 to $800 on a sleep number bed with Sleep IQ technology. No better sleep. Find your sleep number setting today only at any of the 450 sleep number stores nationwide. Find one near you by calling 800-511-0061. That number again is 800-511-0061. Don't forget to give a little whistle. I can't whistle good. Uh, And tell them that Mike O'Mara sent you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Well, you know, you never know what's going to be thrown in on a Mike O'Mara show. At the end of yesterday's program, uh, we were just chatting like we always do, Mike, don't it's you what know? I like to call chit-chat. Chit-chat, Small chit-chat talk, show. You know. Chat show. We flap our gums. It's what we do. <laughs> it's our chat Oscar, show. <laughs> Oscar's throwing out the fact that he, uh, you know, because he's not working hard enough, that he wants to continue to struggle and go to his spin class, even when he's uh, <laughs> battling sleep Mike, deprivity. It's deprivity. really not a spin class. It's the soul. Cycle. <laughs> soul cycle. Why do they call it soul cycle, by the way? Uh, you got to pay a piece of your soul to pay the prices <laughs> no. they actually offer the Mike, classes that's not for. The, tr- the truth is there's only one cycle. It's S-O-L-E. It's the soul, soul cycle. Soul cycle walks in there, 400 people there. <laughs> Super expensive. And apparently for the second time, yeah. he never mentioned it the first time, he bumps into a Secret Service entourage because... Michelle Obama goes to your gym. Is that true? She does, Mike. Uh, wow. She got those guns, Mike. <laughs> I wow. I knew the the first time it happened. I knew something was going on because give you him have, a little more gain, please. You, uh, you have your typical um, black SUV and security outside that says something is there's a dignitary inside your gym. Right Something's now, is this up. the second time you've been there where this, she's been this there? This is the second time, but this is the first time I've actually been inside uh, the gym while she was leaving, which I was, uh, you know, pretty cool. I was surprised. So where, was did, you, did you see her? Were you able I to see her? I did see her, yes. Really? And so tell us all wow. about it, for God's sake. Come on, boy. What's, uh, what's interesting about this is, one, is that this cycle um, establishment only has 60 bikes in the back. So it's not a big gym. It's not one of these mega gyms. It's a really small um, building, right? Is and it just for this uh, it's just, spinning It's just thing? for spinning. They only have one room. Uh, there, there are 60 cycles inside. It oh, is okay, so I'm starting spin. to get it. So she's doing this to have the camaraderie that is necessary in one of these spin classes to motivate her. You have, a, co- you have a coach in front of you that, that coaches you. Um, I, I think she, she, from what I saw, she has a private class that's off of the actual public calendar. Oh, she's so she goes before they even start going. Fancy Michelle Obama okay, so, with her so, private so, class. Hold Ooh, on, la, pal. La, la. Why don't you? Why don't you just calm down? Is she's the friggin' first lady mallet head? Come on now. I'm surprised so I'm, they don't do it at the White House. That's yeah, what I was what thinking. I mean, I mean yeah, bring a bike a bowling in and, alley. and have her. So she doesn't go into a. Uh, <laughs> they have a bowling alley. Why can't they get her a bike? Thank you, thank you, Lyndon. Uh, so <laughs> she she goes into like. But it doesn't make sense to me that she drives all the way over with her secret service it's and goes the, into your... It's like half a mile from the White House. I know, but don't you think from a... So she goes in and then she's got a private room anyway? Well, the room is, is private technically if there isn't a class open to the public. So you would go in and the coach... And she doesn't go alone. She has members of her staff with her. Because, that, that spin with her. Yeah, I imagine there's a couple. Okay, so they get the. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now I get it. I, so she gets the whole crew to come in. Yes, because when I walked... when I The first time I walked in, I saw... Other members getting the SUV, and right. I figure I'm, I just missed uh, the first lady. Or B, 
This time... Hold, hold on. Yeah. I have to stop you because sometimes you're difficult to communicate with. So sometimes. you saw other members? Uh, you, so you can see people that are dressed in spin class outfits yes. getting into an SUV? Yeah. Like maybe they're Secret like they, Service. Like they just worked out. You can tell the Secret Service guys. You can't miss them. They've got mm-hmm. the little earpiece in their ear. Whether they're but they're also out. Secret Service that, that like jog with the president yes. and wear sweats and yep. stuff but like that. But they still so. have the earpiece. Even the people that are in there working out with her... Have the earpiece. Did they right. appear now, to be me, drunk? Uh, yes. Uh, no, 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 I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> when I'm in D.C., yeah. uh, I am a stalker when it comes to this kind of stuff. I love this kind of stuff. So uh, I'm asking you very specific questions. Everybody. He's but not he's, really uh, a stalker. Yeah, but it's like pulling teeth to get the information here. So well, you arrive... Um, you arrive well, at you you arrive <laughs> right okay big shot so you arrive at the uh, spin class and there are pr- there's the entourage out in front I am there for the four thirty class and I notice there are some men that look like they should be they should be fishing standing outside of this place that and everybody in there that's actually cycling is in spandex except for me why do they look like they should be fishing because they have the vest the utilitarian tech vest on that's uh, utilitarian- and there are. And once again, and if shirts. I can ask for the eighth time, there yes. are SUVs and no SUVs. Secret Service. No SUVs. What did you just say? There were women the first climbing time, into SUVs. The first so time. I, Jesus Christ. What? What? Start from the very okay. beginning. The okay? first time I. I he you, got off a boat. The first time. <laughs> <laughs> the first time. <laughs> the first time I noticed that the first lady went to my gym was. On a Sunday afternoon, when I arrived at the gym, and yeah. there was some black SUVs that were pulling out, and then two more pulled up, and uh, some, I guess, members of her staff got in the SUV, walked out with Secret Service, and then they pulled away. About how long ago was this that you made this This was a discovery? month ago. Okay. A month. So, All right. when you saw this, there was every possibility, in my opinion, yes. that when that happened, she may have been sitting in the, uh, like, she uh, one could, of the She could uh, have been, but, limos. again, I, and, and I'm, I'm desensitized to this, and I shouldn't be. Because I live up the street from uh, the vice president. Sure. Biden's, um, Biden owns. Motorcade. Yeah, his motorcade always goes by, like every okay. day. So I'm just so like, this and time, he's so the most. Out the window. Yeah. So yesterday, what happened? So yesterday, I go for the 4.30 spin class, and I'm there early, 4.05. I walk in. Mm. Already, the story doesn't make sense <laughs> yeah. that he was early. I, I, well, no, I'm usually not there early, right? I'm usually right. there right before class, and, and I jump right in. Not anywhere no. early, to be honest with you. Be late uh, that's not, it's not in my DNA. Um, and uh, I, I said to myself, "Well, what the f am I going to do? I'm so early. I, I was banking on traffic being worse." Were there? And at this time, were there any vehicles out? front? No vehicles out front. But there so was, it surprised you when you walked into the gym. It, I, as soon as I walked up, I saw a man. In, okay. uh, in the vest with the right. earpiece, and I said, well, here we go. This should be interesting. Okay, cool. I walk right, in. Now I'm with you. I right. sign in. By the way, this beer doesn't help when there's uh, the law around, <laughs> and everybody else inside that gym is either a blonde co-ed from a George Washington <laughs> University <laughs> or some hot mom that's being kept by some rich man. I right? think you, got Do you a think little... you were profiled, Oscar? I'm the only guy in the class. Oh, the really? The only yeah. guy in the Don't class. Don't you think he carries a little luggage with that beard? I really think he might overestimate I the problem. I had problems. sunglasses. I walked up there like I there was something going on. Like, uh, I, you uh, don't no. belong. Rob, I'd love to agree with you on that, but yeah. no, when he came down and we had a dinner together in Key West, I wanted to frisk him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that's, yeah, but uh, you that's have neither been here. So I'm racially yes. ambiguous. You don't know if I'm here legally. What's this guy coming to a spin class for? This is for So women. they're eyeballing you when you walk in there? I, the guy eyeballed me, and I didn't mind it because I said, this is, this is what should happen if the first lady's in a predominantly female uh, cycling class, and all of a sudden at 4.30, this man just shows up out of the blue. And I would say, uh, just from my knowledge yeah. of the Secret Service, and God, they've been taking their lumps recently, yeah. uh, but I would probably gather they already knew who you were. Got the hairy eye, because they had me. I have to right. sign up beforehand. Yep. I'm, I'm the, and if you look at the 4.30 class. And besides, everyone knows that the Secret Service fills their day with podcasts. And so <laughs> they were listening to the Tech okay. 411 show. All right, Shecky, just calm down. But if Thank you, you look at the, the list, because you have, to, you have to sign up before you go. And I signed up the day before for that class. I looked at the list and I said, well, this class is empty. And there, I thought, is there an outside chance that she's going to be in my class oh, cool. with Very the cool. Secret Service agents? Because this class is conspicuously empty. Like, there's okay. nobody on this list except for me and a handful of girls, right? So when you get into the uh, – it's not a big building, right, no, when you get in there? Mike, it may be three times the size of the small studio. That's how small it is. So it's super tiny, oh, and yeah. you walk in, you see the Secret Service, but no sign of the first lady. Not yet. So okay. I, I, there's a guy there's two, there are two guys stationed outside of the doorway. When you walk up to the desk, there's one guy behind the desk, 
And then when you turn around to the lockers, which is a very small, tight area, there's right. a guy right outside the ladies' room, and there's a guy inside the locker room area. I mean, they are they are stacked. Like okay, they, they, cool. They, very it is cool. Stacked. Are you and, getting excited? It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, but I'm also trying to figure out like I, people. No, the the five women that were in there. Uh, one of them picked up their phone. I was like, "Is she going to take a picture?" Like, you start figuring out, like, what was the the etiquette? Dynamic. What is the etiquette here? Right. Okay. Is she going to ask for a selfie when she walks out? Is she going to be in our class? Right. Uh, and I'm so out of it, and, and you know, it's, it's just because you just don't think about it. Right. That I turn the corner and the feet, the 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 the, the wo- women's room and the men's room, they, they they don't have a sign outside. You just know that it's the female and men, men's and women's room, right? Oh, it's so it's that kind places. of casual. That's it, <laughs> one of the. Yeah, that's right, right. It's all about sex. That's right. So yeah, I go. usually go in. I I go and change real quick and then go right into the the cycle room, but it wasn't open yet. And what I what my <laughs> sorry I just picture Oscar the, and of course they when they change it's go ahead locker room as well it is so it's like uh, yeah. that in uh, what, what is the movie where they fight the giant bug and they all shower together yeah uh, Starship, Starship Troopers. Troopers that's what yeah it's and like. all the women in the spin class are you know oh hi Oscar yeah. great ball yes. uh, <laughs> but anyway uh, so yeah, if you so have to wait to go into the classroom you wait outside the ladies room. So I I got dressed I put my cycling Thank you. my cycling shoes on. I turn the corner and uh, there are, I would say there are probably four other Secret Service agents on premise. Okay, like and you turn little, the corner. Yeah, you get dressed. You get into yes. your. You get into your spin cycle. Dress. Well, I know. I I wear. I wear. Uh, it's a summer dress. Mike. I wear basketball shorts and a t-shirt. Like I am so not dressed See, for this. You get into occasion. your workout clothes. Yes. Yeah. And you then you come out of the locker room and you go you make your way towards the to, spin class area. Yes, and I have to wait outside the woman's room if the if the room isn't ready yet. They're probably cleaning it up, right? So, so do you have to walk through the woman's room to get to the no, spin just, class? No, you're right outside the door. It's like I'm standing outside the studio door, just yeah, hanging out okay. like a perv. But they've got. I always right. feel like I always feel like a perv when I'm waiting, but that's where I gotta wait. And you gotta clean up the room because of all the sex. And yeah. when mm-hmm. you say you have to wait outside the ladies' room, there's a little room. bench right there where you would wait until the. And room why is do you? Uh, so you can't access the spin class room. From uh, the other side, the- there are two entrances. The other entrance does not have a bench to sit on, and I and I don't mind oh. sitting before working out. So you just wait for them, and and you yeah. happen to be right next to the ladies' room. Yes. So right. where I and that at that point where I go and s- what an accident. <laughs> where I go and I'll usually just stand sit here. At that point, I where I'm standing right next to me is is a Secret Service agent. So that was awkward because I couldn't like turn the corner and then turn around like awkwardly. I said this. It's gonna make me look like I'm, I don't belong there. And so I just. The I Secret st- Service agent that you're right next to, is it like a textbook, central yes. casting, in a suit, Old Older gentleman, had gray in his hair, it was all there, all business. Wow. Yes. And uh, so is he, do you think at this point he's waiting for well, I'm, Michelle I'm, Obama to come out of the, the I, girls' I room? I don't know if he's waiting for her to come <laughs> out, changed, and then go into the cycling room, or B, he's waiting for her. To come out and she's done already. She had some and, sort and of she's going to get in her yes. uh, her limo and she's going to head out. Yeah, so, uh, you know, after lunch, you, sometimes you hear- she has to make a trip in there, an extra stop. <laughs> <laughs> you, we're going to do Chipotle. <laughs> we're going to do spin class, and then I might need to hit the locker room before we head back to sixteen hundred. Uh, if you could stay here, Wendell, that would be great. Wendell, sit next to the Bolivian on the bench. And uh, you're I'm not. Just- at, and are you so intimidated that you're not asking any questions? I'd, I'd be uh, Mike. I, I yeah. when when oh, anything, you would, Mike would have ended up. up. When, you would have ended up when in I, cuffs. When Mike. anything like that happens, I don't want to make an issue. I just want people to live their lives, and I don't want a problem. I, okay, I, my, I ignore you're everything. You're doing you're doing in a way what I did when I uh, met Clinton, and I actually froze. Yep. I just stopped. Yeah, yeah. I have my daughter in my arms. My daughter Catherine. That's how many years ago this is, and I stopped. And yeah. I just sat there. I didn't move. I was waiting for somebody to tell mm-hmm. me to move, but I didn't say anything. And God knows, you know what? I, you know where I was? I was right across from his limo where he was changing out of his golf shoes. Really? And I stood there. No one hassled me. I just stood there. And then he came over and said, hey, "What's your name, dear?" And he and he held my daughter, and we had a picture taken. Mm. And I, it, I, I froze that too photo. when I met yeah. him. I did. Yeah. We yeah. were at the Chinese yeah. restaurant that we mentioned in uh, Falls You freeze. Church. You don't do anything. You, you don't want to do I anything. I just wanted to get the picture with him and Julia, and my hands are literally shaking. And I, yeah, it's the exciting. Two, the exchange we had was, are you going to take this photo? <laughs> and then I, and to, <laughs> in an awkward effort to pad, I said, 
what did you have for dinner? He said, I had the lamb chops. They were great. <laughs> <laughs> so you froze, and that's I probably froze. the best thing because you're happens. not going to yeah. alert and anybody. Also, you the dynamic of that room is I'm the only guy. I clearly look like I'm you know st- I'm sticking out like a sore thumb because I'm not there it, because right. I'm not wearing spandex and I'm not wearing uh, the uniform that I think a usual cycler wears. Yeah, it's a creep factor. I rent my shoes. I don't own shoes. Like I'm just I don't belong there. Yeah, right? Right? Oh wait alley? a minute, hold on. Rent shoes because you have to have a specific kind of shoe yes, for that. Yeah, you can either buy them and bring them or you can rent them there for, and they charge you. What is, describe the shoe. It's a special cycling you shoe. Buy does, it have, does it have a it, it, it clips bell in, on the clips end in. of it? Clipless, it's yeah. called. Yeah. You're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Rob mean I had the shoes. ability to go home all the time? <laughs> okay, stop it. So you have your, your red <laughs> so shoes I, on. I, uh, Jesus, he's throwing so many little things in this story. Lord. It's like, I swear to God, I feel like an exhausted detective right now. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so what so, happens then? Uh, I'm waiting. Five minutes goes by, and I'm like, oh, man, this would be pretty cool if she's in our class. And then you hear a Secret Service agent uh, say, okay, he says something, mum- like mumbles something into his earpiece or wherever his, 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 his uh, wrist or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, talks into his cuff. I'm, I'm staring at the floor. I don't want anything to do with this. Like, I just want this to pass. Is it getting more, because of the, the time passing, Obviously, it's getting more intense. The yeah, because is- I'm standing right in front of the woman. It's like I'm waiting for something. If it and by the way, happened- I, I hate we have to stop you, Rob. By right. the way, yeah. I'm waiting for this vignette to end. We have to start the goddamn show because this has gone on so she long. Appears- we- no, she appears. No, no, I okay. want to get. We'll get okay. to it after the break All because right. I have more questions to get this information. We are trying to pry out of you today. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll take a break. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to The Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's The <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. We're on the entertainment capital of the world. This could have been avoided if you hadn't played with no, something you don't I'm understand. Sorry. I'm sorry. It is funny. It's a hoot that you don't get why we need this. Tony, maybe this might not be the time. Really? That's it. You just roll over, show your belly every time somebody snarls. Only when I've created a murder bot. We didn't. We weren't even close. Were we close to an interface? Well, you did something right. And you did it right here. The Avengers were supposed to be different than she. Anybody remember when I carried a nuke through a wormhole? No, it's never come up. Save New York? Never heard that. Recall that? A hostile alien army came charging through a hole in space. We're standing 300 feet below it. We're the Avengers. We can bust arms dealers all the live long day, but that up there, that's, that's the end game. How are you guys planning on beating them? Together. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, and now, from his office chair, here's Mike. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Was that Robert Downey Jr.? What's that? Was that Robert Downey Jr.? It was Robert Downey Jr. And, uh, plus Ready, man. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to you live in the Michael Mayer Capital Fire Studio, in the heart of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This is the Michael Mayer Show, Robert Downey Jr. On the air and online worldwide, Ready, man. The Michael Mayer Show is a daily radio show and podcast with the greatest listeners on the planet because they get it. And if you're here, you do. Hey, Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Hey, Robert Downey Jr. Am I still doing blow? Am I still doing blow? Am no, I still you're doing not doing blow? blow. You're not doing blow. Oh, sorry about that. I have okay. one question uh, for you, Robert Downey Jr. Yes, go right ahead. Are you a cool guy? I'm a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> do you like my red sunglasses? I do. I got my red sunglasses on. Uh, anyway, uh, this show today is nice. brought to you by Blinds.com. So you've been staring at those old shades and curtains all winter long, and no amount of spring cleaning can improve that view. It's time to talk to the experts at Blinds.com for the look you want at a price you love. I installed my own shutters. I loved it. I felt so handy. And then I wimped out when it came to my blinds because they were so long, 96 inches of blinds, and I didn't want to do it myself because I was worried. I probably could have, you but I was uh, I, I wussed out, and I, I used the, the fact that they give you uh, not only design concerns, consultants like my buddy Josh, but they give you people that help you, professional installers. That's the route I went with the blinds in my bedroom. I am not kidding you. I have my plantation shutters from blinds.com in the kitchen, and I've got my blinds in my bedroom now 
both from Blinds.com. Beautiful. They're fantastic, and Josh was great. Hurry over to Blinds.com right now where you'll find great discounts all April long with your favorite brands and upgrades on sale. you got to see the value that's waiting for you. As always, get free color samples, free shipping, and free expert decorator advice, plus prices that crush store prices. Best of all, customer service that will genuinely make you smile. Uh, getting my professional installer was easy. Getting my blinds sent, uh, my shutters rather, sent back to me when I screwed up the measuring that was easy too they help you help you help Full you service. at blinds.com Absolutely. customer service is fantastic blinds.com is seen in Mike O'Mara's kitchen and now his bedroom okay we had to do uh, the break there we would have been super behind on the show right, right, and right. we were talking to Oscar about going to his spin class and suddenly he walks into the secret service and he immediately is aware of the fact that the first lady Michelle Obama is behind the ladies locker room door outside of his spin class uh <laughs> For some reason, I am trying to get all the information, and he gives a little of the story. Then he'll throw another thing in there that he rents his shoes. You know, it's just been a crazy day uh, getting this. So we take you to where we are right now. And the nice thing about a podcast is we didn't have to waste much time. Right. And we know where we are. You are just about to see something happen. They're talking into their cup. Yes. They know so there's movement. There's Something's going be on. There's going to some movement. And this is at the exact same time that they're opening up. They're Sorry. opening up the, the first lady is ready. The first lady is ready. <laughs> they're opening up the classroom to the class I'm going to take. So the doors are opening. Oh, so, so all the planets said, are aligning. Yeah. Well, this is going to be interesting, right? You're right. really hoping against hope I'm that hoping she's, she's actually going in, there. in. And I saw right. the roster and I said, did they just black out this entire roster to have Always a big color section of this class uh, just for her? And then, like, whoever was got in, got in. So normally when you it's go to this out. class on a, uh, on a on an afternoon, it's sold out. Okay, yes. that's interesting. All right, yeah. so what happens then? So um, she – originally I thought that she was going to walk because I heard some voices, and I'm like, oh, here we go. Look down. Don't, don't stare. Don't be crazy. Like do everything that you need to do to not make an issue of the situation. Did you right? by any chance make your Oscar noise when you heard the voices? And go, <laughs> no, no, no. Because <laughs> you always hear the hens gaggling Mama. and talking in there. But Mama. <laughs> it was really quiet. So I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Right. right? Uh, what it, it was. It was actually it was interesting because who, the first person that came out was a man. Who was, yeah. an, who was an agent in? Who was actually in the restroom? So I imagine out of the uh, out. out of the ladies' restroom. Out of the ladies' restroom. Okay, and so somebody's got to be. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of and weird. it looked like he had worked out as well. Um, and <laughs> because he was in. <laughs> oh, now you, 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 work out. Know, it, uh, you are. <laughs> so there is a man in the ladies' room that comes out sweaty. Not, in well, workout clothes. Well, he was in yeah. workout clothes, and then two ladies walked out, and then the first- Did They looked like they had a good they rogering. Like they were out as well, yeah. because you, you can technically stand outside the ladies' room, like inside the doorway, and still not be inside, right? Because okay. there's a curtain that separates you. Do you get that? I'm no. trying. I yeah, really because, do understand what he's but saying. But I'm starting to the, agree more because then he'll go forward. The, the, All um, right. I, I, All I, right. I never <laughs> thought that they would actually have an agent inside the restroom, whether it was male or female, but they do. Because the, it's so there's an outer lobby to the ladies. Room yes, yes. Alcohol. That is not necessarily taboo, taboo. to be to be in. <laughs> yeah. So he probably walked through the actual get undressed part yeah. where you pee, yeah. and and is standing out by the sinks or something yes, like that. Exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. Or to, you can Jesus take, Christ! You can take I a feel like I'm well. translating I, today. I, All right. Dan, if you guys would go to spin class, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we're not, and you have to <laughs> use English. <laughs> If I went Thank to spin you. class, you'd be describing a funeral home. <laughs> okay. So one guy comes out, yeah. two ladies come yeah. out, and then she's behind And then them. she emerges, and she can either make a right into the classroom where I'm about to take this class or make a left to the door. Okay. And she walks out, looks over at the classroom. I look up. I see her. I don't say a word. I just- You didn't even say hello? I don't say a single thing. Oh, she, come on! She didn't make, she didn't make eye contact. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, she probably was like, who's this dude in front okay, of me? Okay, well- she didn't make eye contact. No, it wasn't because she was being. Yeah, there. I was already. How close physically were you to her? I was uh, four feet. Four feet. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No. That's kind of cool. Uh, for some reason, I have a higher regard for the president. If it was the president, I'd be more excited. 
but it's his wife. So <laughs> you I, are so I, Latin. I, I, you I, are so <laughs> Latin. God <laughs> Almighty, are you Latin? Yeah. Or if it was Cankles. If it was the man with the power, I would be. Oh my God! Yeah. But it is his woman. If it is his lowly woman. I, 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 I think the biggest surprise of all is that when she emerged, she did not bring me a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> 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 if it was Cankles and she was president, I'd be excited for that too. I understand. If you hold I'm the not seat, pro- I'm not portraying right? you as a sexist, yeah. but I. Just to be in the proximity of all the, you know, you're in the middle, you're the, yeah, you know, the most powerful city in America, yes. and there you are, and this is all going. This yeah. is why I mean, this is why I'm lingering on this because I am so fascinated. And by I, t- this, I uh, take it for granted. You're absolutely right. So it's you shouldn't. It's cool. She makes a left, and then she's very polite to everybody, and she walks right out. And then I see the instruct- you watch her greet other people. Yeah, correct? she's saying bye to the staff and her instructor that gave her the, I guess, the private class or her and her, her crew. Mm. Um, and then the instructor comes back. I guess they do this all the time, uh, different times of the day, because she comes back like it's no big deal. And then she teaches our class. Done deal. So did you say anything to your instructor, no. or were you trying to be too cool? No, don't say a word. Well, the oh, instructor God. is exceptionally hot, right? Oh, uh, they're all hot, Mike. So, so yeah, he has to be yeah, cool. I don't have to. Be cool. to- I really? keep a low profile in so, there. So, so you, do you have? Uh, do you ever have a private conversation with the instructors at all, or do you just kind of go in and do your thing, and you're quiet as a church mouse, and you leave? You seem very mellow in this situation. You, I have. You're to a be. gregarious. You're a gregarious yeah, guy. I've seen you in a room. When you one, the women in these classes are in such better shape than I'll ever be that by the time I'm done with the class, I can barely. Like, have a conversation. It's that intense, like and I'm, that's I'm, what Michelle Obama's doing, I am that kind of intense. Beat, yeah, I'm absolutely beat down. I need to take a nap after most of these classes. That's How, how long does the spin class uh, last? It's 45 minutes. Ooh, that's uh, and, that's pretty intense and the aerobic room uh, is, exercise. Uh, I don't know if they do this on purpose, but it is piping hot, so you're burning twice the amount of calories, and hot cycle. you get destroyed. Mm-hmm. Now, hot so cycle. And cycle is basically uh, an air-resistance bicycle. A uh, stationary bike. Yeah, that's what it is, and they go at various degrees of intensity. Right? Is yes. that what well, I mean? You say it's always high, a spin class. It's, it's like high, I mean, I, I, it's what? all high intensity. It's like you are cycling at uh, the the fastest you could possibly go with the most resistance. And they have I, they have this thing where you actually go through choreography. I can't do that. I'll fall off the bike. Well, hold on. What, what is the choreography? Oh choreography. Ah, uh, well, oh, Jesus. Uh, since there are mostly women in the class, the, the instructor will say, okay, it's time to get sexy girls, right? And then... Oh. All right, yeah. here we go. That's, All right, everybody. That's when I'm like... Hey. Oh. Pedal, pedal, pedal. That's when you go. go into third... You go into third position. And this is when I hike up, and I'm like, okay, I'm in third position on the bike. Uh, please, music. I, I just can't continue without it. You're killing me here. I'm sorry about I'm in third that. position of the bike. I'm moving along. I'm like, all right, I can do what these ladies do. I am a superior sex. I can do the hip moving without hurting myself. And then you go into a, a type of certain type, a serpent, serpent type move. And that's when you feel like you're L5 breaking. And then I go back and they don't play this. So this isn't working. Like, <laughs> see, <it's laughs> and I lost my music. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, let me try another one for you. My- they don't play this either. They play anything that's top 40, which neither of you have in your... That's, no, they that's don't play that either. That's very oh, close. I got it for you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, nice. no, 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 no. So you, you have choreography throughout each class, and each instructor has different choreography. Oh, no. Yeah. They scare no. the pounds off you. <laughs> So, Never mind. so you need an instructor then to tell you what to do. Yeah, they they tell you exactly what to do. Mm. Yeah, so you didn't say so long, Michelle, when she no. uh, walked out and what stuff like that. She... Wouldn't it have been great if Oscar had just no. gently put his hand on her shoulder and said, "Do you have any rusted spoons?" <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. But so would would it be your belief that the first lady works out at a pretty high level, at a, for absolutely. the fact that she's in this class? Yes, absolutely. If she's going there and they're not going to her, it's because it's convenient for her to go there. They're accommodating it. And to be to be fair to her, um, I, I, would, I like that we have a first lady that's fit. And, I think and, yeah, that's very cool. I think that's cool too. Yeah. But you never, you'll, you'll never talk to your instructor about it, right? You know, hey, yeah. how cool is it? How cool is it to? If you were to walk up to your instructor, yeah. who in celebrity your your instructor most resembles, if you can give us a, oh, a ballpark um, of that, she's got red hair, she's gorgeous, uh, a younger who's the carrot top. No, a, a, a younger <laughs> Alan Coulter. <laughs> Who, who's the Who's the lady that? Um, Ann Mira. No, a younger Ann Mira when Ann Mira was right. hot. Let me try to figure right. this out here. 
Uh, Julianne Moore. A young Julianne Moore. Okay, there. wow. Okay, mm. very nice. A very, very nice. young Julianne If you were Moore. to walk up to the young Julianne Moore yes. and say, how cool is it to teach the first lady? That's got to be a lot of fun. Would that be way out of line if you said something like that? Would she say, get on your bicycle, no. you bastard? <laughs> I think she would say, it's cool, and then the conversation would be over. Really? Yeah, there's no, sounds... we're not gossiping in there. We're just working out and moving on. Well, that's not uh, gossip. That's just uh, cool. Well, we do have to break, but you know what I have to say to this whole thing? Fucking oh. hipsters. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's cool. Better get on your bike. Yeah, it's no big deal. We don't Fuck care. We live, in, we live in Glover Park. We're Glover Park. We don't care. We don't care about things. Yeah, where's my Where's my green spinach drink? Yeah. Like that. Anyway, I think it's cool. I'm excited, and I wasn't even there, for Christ's sake. Cool. We'll take it's, a break. Anytime you get uh, any, that close to greatness, that's awesome. You know what else is exciting? Hmm. Talking to Pony Boy. And we're going to do that right Ooh, after this commercial nice. break. Jeez. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tony Perkins. Hi, I'm Cake. Listen, no, you're not, but that's why we're here. For cake? Yeah, not for cake, but to promote cake and cookies. Oh, yeah. Fantastic podcast. It's a great podcast. It features Rob Spiewak. Mm -hmm. Katie, does Katie have a last name? Von Herman. Oh, she a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow, no, I would have said that. <laughs> Check it out. It's Cake and Cookies right here on the Moore Broadcasting Network. Even more. Cake and Cookies. Rob and Katie. It's the Rob and Katie Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Dear sweet mother, mommy, mama, mom, moom, mom. You know what? You tortured your mother. You did. You oh, yeah. know you did. You know you stayed out too late. You know you made her worry. You know you did all those bad things that made mom's life difficult. I got news for you, pal. She still worries about you, and you really should be aware of that. Moms love their babies, and you should love your mommies right back. A good gift will make mommy cry. The best gift will make her mouth water. Treat your mom to something sweet like she is. Just for our listeners, giant freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99. That's over a 40% savings. Simply go to berries.com, click on the mic in the upper right-hand corner, and use our code TMOS. Amazing, luscious, gargantuan, mm. hand-selected strawberries dipped in decadent white dark and milk chocolatey goodness topped with chocolate chips, nuts, and the ever-popular swizzle. Mm, boy. Boo, that's good swizzle. I have been giving away Sherry's Berries for years. We all love them. We fight over them when they come into the studio. They are a 10. Here's the only way to get this amazing deal with the fresh dip strawberries starting at $19.99. This offer is for our listeners only when you use the code TMOS. Visit berries.com. That's B E R R I E S.com. Click on the microphone in the top right hand corner and type in TMOS. Again, berries.com. Click the mic TMOS. Great. Mother's Day is May 10th, so act now. Don't be a jerk. Treat your mom right this Mother's Day. Treat her to Sherry's Barry's, everybody. Mm. Okay, spotlight on a on a just, boy who's been very funny lately. Just uh, quickly, Mike, if you don't mind, yes, I texted you a link. Um, apparently, this is a bigger deal than I thought. What's that? I found a link from the Daily Mail, uh, UK. Yeah. And they have video of her in, and pictures of her in the Soul Cycle location in Georgetown. Really? Of uh, the First Lady. Huh. Pretty yeah. wild. Apparently, she goes on a regular basis, Mike. I didn't really? know that. You need to re cool. we need to reevaluate your schedule so you can get to know yeah. this lady. I, I don't know. I look again, I imagine they switch it around simply for security's sake, but I'll show it to you, Rob. Yeah. So Oh, there it is in the Daily Mail right? with, oh, uh, with Michelle Obama. Was she wearing a, a hoodie like that when she came out yesterday? Uh there was a hoodie, yes. Do you recognize okay, so, any of the Secret well, Service guys? Uh no, no. I don't oh, different, I don't, different crew. All white guys look the same, you know. Yes. Yeah, right. So oh, is that the, the out <laughs> was that the, was that picture Ooh. taken the day you were there? No, Austria? no, that's from a different day. I was just googling wow. and said if see if anybody tweeted about the it. The mother of two is reportedly it. a regular at uh this location. Uh since it, and I'll keep it a secret, Oscar, for your sake. Uh <laughs> since it opened last summer. Yeah, in, otherwise uh, he'd September. be swamped. <laughs> and Oscar's been uh, oh, and there's the video of it too. I gotta pop the video on here. And then if you scroll that. down, you can see how small that area yeah. is. Here she is coming out of the uh, place. Yeah. Birds singing. It's like a colder day. And then scroll. Michelle, Michelle, what's the best part of the workout, Michelle? <laughs> oh. TMZ right, did you see any, any of those jerks? Any paparazzi no, I didn't around? See any jerks, but I was already inside. Uh, and then if you scroll down a little bit on that story, you'll see how small that area is for waiting and changing and checking. How great in. would it be if after we listened to that video, we found out Oscar was lying because we heard someone say, hey, Michelle, do you ever listen to Tech 411? <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, this is so very cool that you found this because there she is spotted. One gym member tweeted this picture back in September, writing Michelle Obama in my Soul Cycle class. So she has done 
classes with someone else. You uh, see, so she's do done you that. see that bench where that young lady in the picture? Yeah, with sitting. the with the pink shoes. That's where I sit and wait. Wow, it's, it's oh called the Oscar God. bench. <laughs> well, that's just the, the creep b- bench that sits right outside creep. the lady. And, and really, based on that, based on the photo, I see what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about with the tight quarters. <laughs> yeah, it's that's the way that is. Wow. That is so Super very tight. very yeah, cool. Tight quarters. Uh, man, that's a, but uh, so it appears to you that maybe back in the day she did the public uh, classes and now she yeah. has well, I she shuts it down and she does a bunch it that of looky loos showed up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is right. that the classic? Say, and this picture, God, that guy with the flat top is he Mister Secret Service? <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> looks like my God, look Howie Long. Yeah. Howie Long. It <laughs> has a Howie Long look. You know, hey, that's a look that screams, "I want to look tough," and then I'm going to buy a South American hooker. No, it doesn't <laughs> say that. I'm sorry, that's a Secret Service joke. Since I don't we've been mean drinking, it. do you want to look at some documents, ma'am? <laughs> I don't mean it. <laughs> of course, you can't let me in. I was drinking all night. This is a Secret Service vehicle. I'd like to get in the weight house, please. That detail, I've seen detail for um, uh, Rich, uh, Cantor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing him at uh, Surfside up the street. And what was his first name again? Eric. Some, Eric Cantor. I wanted to say Rick for something. Eric Cantor. And he had th- he had four Secret Service agents with him. This was like this is a serious oh yeah team that goes with the first family. Was mm-hmm. pretty you know what I see when I see these pictures though, and I see her coming out what of there. What do you see? I see really. I think we have to respect uh, all of our leaders. Uh, you know, all our presidents and our first families, what they deal with. She doesn't oh go anywhere God. in the world where that doesn't yes. happen. That's got to be. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't sure need a podcast and yelling she does, at her. And you know what? She does. <laughs> Cat calling. She does sneak out. Looking I've good. heard her talk about it. She sneaks out to like Target. She goes to grocery stores because she wants to remain sort of plugged yeah. in to what's going on. And that's got to be the greatest hassle for Secret Service, just for them to go to Target and to think right. that to be plunged into that situation. It's got to be tough. No, never why, does every, why does every douche, though, that uh, does that paparazzi – why do they all sound like that? I know. Hey, it Michelle, like how was your workout? Mm-hmm. Hey, Michelle, how was your workout? Was it good? You know, that, that, that kind of hectoring thing where they're just, it, it sounds like. And I, also, I, that's always be a tough. question that doesn't really relate because after the question about the workout, it's usually something like, what do you think about Lindsay Lohan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like they're waiting for uh, something they can tweet. Yeah. You know, it's, just, yeah. it's, it's silly. But yeah, so that's uh, apparently the cat's out of the bag. And that's pretty for, uh, you know, for a lady that's a little older than the average yeah. age in that class. Are there many uh, people that are over 40 in your class or uh, in your there life are, there, or are, there are some. Uh, in your life. Did you say in there this are some life? Cougar, there are some cougars that go in there. But mostly. But they've got to all be put together. It's mostly Georgetown and George Washington students, which I don't mind, clearly. But of course she not. really. I mean, uh, she is. Uh, she is they a strong, strong I'm lady. Not. And uh, do they think you're gay? Probably. That's You're what the first lady said. Sneaky guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's perfect cover. Yeah, yeah I, I was. There. I follow Flotus, yeah. and she said, "Saw a gay Bolivian at spin class today." <laughs> 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 Lotus. Flotus. <laughs> Flotus. <laughs> that sounds like something we used to get at American University after one of those weekends. Oh yeah. Oh man, I got to go to the clinic again. I got Flotus. Uh, a couple shots that to fix that Flotus. So, <laughs> that is so very nasty. This is so cool, but I see how small, but also how hip. Your little yeah, places, yeah. There, your it, little storefront right after, down there. After that happened, uh, my next uh, great feat was not staring at the girl's ass in front of me the entire class. <laughs> yeah, like, but at, oh least, at least if you stare at her ass, you're not going to have eight guys in suits kick the hell well, out of you. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I, How just, many, uh, I sat there. I'm like, don't be, don't be a creep. Don't be a creep. How many Look usually, the right. average Look number left. of people in your spin class, how many are there? Uh, I would say it's sold out, so it's 60 people. But you're in tight quarters. People. Wow, that you're is in tight, tight quarters, oh. and uh, all, all like, mostly ladies. You're the only guy. I would say the the most. Uh, I think three men tops is uh, what I've seen in a class. Mm. What's it? Uh, Were they all tops, what? Oscar? <laughs> I have a. They're all part. tops. <laughs> in good shape. What's it, what's it smell like in that class? You know, everybody's asses uh, in the seats. Yeah. And stuff it smells like that. like girls. Like they all wear yeah. deodorant. Yeah, Mike smells like a smells Nothing like crazy. a daisy. It smells yeah. like a field of daisies. Listen, I understand you're running this uh, spin class here. <laughs> yeah, uh, you need any help uh, cleaning up afterwards? Oh, God. hey, you want to? Uh, <laughs> you want to after the class uh, come with me behind the ladies' room curtain? <laughs> Hi, you're the best instructor I've ever seen. You're the best instructor I've ever seen. I love coming to this spin class. <laughs> I really, you really, really good. Let's listen again to the uh, the guy that's got the typical paparazzi okay, sound. Let's listen to this guy. Here we go. This is interesting right here. Hold on. Where is it? I got to tell you that the any. Secret Service, while you while you pull that up, um, that's not an easy job. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no. I, I, it's just not. I know they've they've been under a lot of heat, but the, just just being in that room, 
there's another rando there and you have to think about everything and anything and i can't imagine the stress level that job carries i know you were really focused on not being a creep but there has to be a part of i think you not being a creep made me a creep no mm -hmm. could be but don't you think there's a part of you that oh well, well that would be uh, fine if i could bring my internet up again my crap garbage internet down here yeah. that has just been essing the bed all maybe morning it's long. big brother I am ready. You know what I'm ready to do? I'm ready to run out into my neighborhood and go, what are you doing to me? Yeah. <laughs> golf you blame, you blame your neighbors, the do you? No, I've had over. this problem all the time. So we won't hear the guy. That's a shame. But mm. uh, yeah, you know, well, well, a thrill. A I think thrill. you should be excited. It's kind of yeah, cool. The heart of D.C., you're dealing with the, all that. Even though you only got a glimpse of her, yeah. to see the Secret Service at work, that's uh, got to yeah, be yeah, pretty yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. And impressive. iPhone down, no pictures. No sudden moves. That's right. <laughs> Still, that is. I mean, I get so excited at the whole prospect of seeing people, you know, you know doing this type of stuff. It's very well, it's ugly very Hollywood. Exciting. No disrespect to the first lady. I think she's a beautiful woman, but that's that's our our Hollywood. That's what yeah. we get, right? How you doing, Michelle? Michelle, what's the best part of the workout, Michelle? What's the yeah. best part of the workout, Michelle? Hey, Michelle, 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 how paparazzi, how douche, douche, douche. How many calories did you burn, Michelle? The best right. part of the workout is when this asshole called me by my name <laughs> three times in a row. Hey, Michelle, <laughs> Hobby Levin says hi. Hobby Levin says hi, Michelle, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> douche, douche, bag, bag, douche. Anyway, uh, that's it. All right, we didn't get a chance to chat with Pony. We will do that when we come back on the Mike O'Mara Show. And uh, Oscar, thank you for your support for our country. Yes. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. We are in love with Next Issue, everybody. Oh, the best. Next Issue, truly a game-changing app. It's taking uh, magazines to a whole nother level. It's like Netflix for magazines. All of your favorite magazine titles, unlimited and instant access, all in one place and right at your fingertips. All the latest issues and even back issues. I talk to my wife about magazines because I'm a magazine junkie. You love them. Now we don't have to worry about the clutter. Not only the clutter, but knowing which magazines are the ones that are dated and which are the ones that need to be thrown out. And I have magazines on my coffee table. I have magazines on my bedroom floor. I have magazines in the bathroom floor. Now you can get all of your magazines for iPads, iPhones, Android tablets, and smartphones, and you get one account that you can share. So it's great for families, and it eliminates all the clutter. We all love it. Right, Oscar and Rob? Oh, you know what? You, I'm sorry. You go first. I'm sorry. I, I had my brother uh, sign up. Because yeah. I said, look, man, uh, I know I when I go to his house, they have a bunch of magazines. I said, sure. I'm going to save you money. You can support the show, and you can get your Nat Geo, your Men's Health, and your Sports Illustrated right on your iPad. Yeah. Right? And many more because you have so many magazines to choose from. You Let me get through I, these as quick as I can. New Yorker. Oh, what did you read? New Yorker is great to get it. Issues and back issues of New Yorker and read the articles and the cartoons are the greatest. And they're all right there in your iPad. Nat Geo, Nat, uh, Newsweek, Glamour, PC Magazine, Popular Science, Us Weekly, Rolling Stone, Entertainment Weekly, Vanity Fair, People, all of them. They're yep. all there and you can get them at Next Issue. Explore your favorite topics with instant searches. That's great. Great for students, I would think. Yes. Plus digital extras you won't find anywhere else. It gets even better. Go to nextissue.com slash TMOS and sign up today for your first month free and 50% off Next Issue's most popular premium plan for the next two months. If you're a magazine lover, you got to try this. Yes. This is a great deal, but it's only available in the U.S. by going to nextissue.com slash TMOS and signing up today. That's nextissue.com slash TMOS, and uh, check it out. We love it. Welcome back to the Michael O'Mara Show. Spotlight on our man, Pony Boy. It seems six months ago we were talking to Pony about his Monday evening dinner supper clubs. Yes. And uh, really, since then, we haven't uh, spoken with Mr. Personality. And, and a lot of people. People would say time. that's fine, but you're yes. going to pull the trigger, so I really should play this. Pony boy, oh, that's pony right. Boy, yeah, you got your boy, mistake. You my pony boy. My, my pony, pony boy. It's pony time. Get up. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Pony, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Yes, fun, fun, fun. Smoke, 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 smoke,
I'm great, but I'm asking hey, you how you're doing. Hey, BG yeah, Products. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is new uh, in uh, in your world? Has anything changed of substance? Probably? You know, Mike, I, I can't really say much has changed, unfortunately. I did meet a nice girl. Uh, Whoa! Oh, hold on, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah, yeah, hold yeah, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man. Uh, <laughs> bombshell. Oh, man, mm -hmm. wow. This wow, is man, wild. Wow. Who are you? <laughs> is this your first tender flesh since the Moody Girl? Hell has frozen yeah. over. Here she is now. <laughs> yes, she, oh, no, that's no. not her. Okay. Uh, uh, song? You, you met uh, a lady? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, she turned out to be a big anime fan and everything, and it, it oh, seemed like everything. Keeper. Oh, yeah. Uh, everything was, like, in the bag. And then. Let me stop you right there. Mm hmm. Then what happened? <laughs> well, um, she came over for one evening uh, for our anime group, and then suddenly she just stopped calling. Now, the anime group, is that related or the same thing as the Supper Club? or is this... it's, a, it's all the same. It's the same thing. So is this one of the two anime girls anime. that used to come regularly to your house? No, this was a new girl. How did she really? show up? I, I, Craigslist? I, I'm embarrassed of this. I, I met her at a funeral. Oh my God! Yeah, I know. You pulled a re wedding crashers? Yeah, it was kind of. Uh, ah, kind of. Funeral chicks are so yeah. horny. They yeah, are. they always are. <laughs> you know? Funeral chicks are so horny. That it's is the smell disturbing. of the flowers, Mike. Mm -hmm. That is so. It's they the want grief, disturb. Mike. Yeah, they want to the get. Grief. They really want to get down and try to forget their loss with some shagging. Mm -hmm. Well, that's sad. I I won't pry, but I. We yeah, have to. I, I have my journalistic, uh, you know, ideals. Was it a was it a close family member funeral or was it a friend's funeral? It was, it was my grandfather. It was your granddad's was, funeral um, when you were, were off. I remember that when sorry. we were sending you the. Uh, so so is this a uh, this is a family member that uh, knew your your grandfather's family or what? It's uh, not a cousin, was, is it? God no, no. Does this she is work a, at a neighbor, one of their neighbors. Oh, okay. And now, <laughs> it's Rob's hard to uh, it's hard to like look across a, a, a room of grieving people yes. and and know that they're an anime fan. Did she have like oversized eyes or anything? <laughs> no. no, she uh, got a nosebleed. <laughs> no, she had just... oversized eyes, big eyes, <laughs> jet black hair, oversized eyes, and she oh spoke in God. perfect English, but her mouth movements didn't match. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> <laughs> but then we we were all sad, so it was hard so, to really call it. Now the ABCs of Pony. Now Pony, mm -hmm. there are two things afoot here. Uh, you're either not revealing anything because you don't want to, or you're you're being yourself. You're saying she just stopped coming. Were there any phone calls that you made to her? Were you, uh, you know, were you curious about? It? Did you follow up? No, no, I, no, I did didn't. actually. I said, you know, I, I invited her over. She came over, and afterward, she said, you know, she had a great time, and we were texting, and she, she seemed like she really genuinely enjoyed everybody who was there and enjoyed hanging out. And then the next day or so, she just kind of dropped off. It was Wait, weird. Did you have any alone time with her? No, unfortunately not. So this was really one mm. date. Yeah, it was just kind of like, and hey. And it was a group date. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a casual. Low, it was a low pressure. Low key kinda, hang. Yeah. Uh, you know what's interesting about this? I'll let you boys take Please. over. Please. Uh, I have nothing to say. Well, you know, it's I, he sort of, his lead sentence was misleading. And that yes, he, you know, I he know had it met was. a woman, and it really just welcome to our world. His lead mm -hmm. sentence was misleading, and so she really just no, came yes, over yes, for no, 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 but no, for yes. Pony, this is huge. Yeah, it's you know, a step. so yeah, this, he step. hadn't met a woman. He well, what about the other two while. regular girls that come over to your house all the time? Yeah, they come over to my house all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they come, <laughs> they come over, they pet his squirrels, and then they leave. That's what happens. Squirrels. And he, by the way, Mike, referring to the last show, it's a licensed squirrel. He's mm -hmm. allowed to have it. Absolutely. Now, but the, it's legal. You said in the past that you were afraid that if you hit on the first two girls, the mm -hmm. regulars, <laughs> that you could wreck what is a very nice thing. Yeah, you don't want to S where you sleep. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. How do you, you might, might want to. Can yeah. I? Uh, I've been on the, on the internet. What? I know you can do that. I've yeah. seen pictures. Can Mike, we, there's whole yeah. websites dedicated to I it. I might be getting ready to do that. Oh, whoa. Uh, can we backtrack real quick? How do you pick mm -hmm. someone up at a funeral? I know that Wedding Crashers was fun and, you know, the different quotes people quote mm -hmm. from the movie all the time, but 
How do you, well, in real life... Keep in mind, that was a wedding, not a funeral. Pull mm-hmm. this off. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, I, I, you, you he the looks yeah. wonderful. Yeah, Will Ferrell at I the want end was you. crashing funerals. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot about yes. that. Yes, That's forgive me. Thank you for the heads up. Mm. Well, you Go just ahead. you start talking during the reception. I mean, you don't walk over with some line and say, oh, I saw those tears in your eyes. You, know, yeah. the, you, you just talk. Yeah, but, but how did you parlay that into, oh, you're into anime? We have an anime dinner I do every Monday. You that, look sad. How would you like me to open the casket of your heart? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, this anime. Is, this is but the, no, it's just, I would assume it's just like any other gathering of yeah. people. But if you're how chatting does anime come up in a conversation? Were you wearing your Naruto tie? Oh, God damn it. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, were, we were just talking and, and shooting the ass and found out she's, a, uh, she's an art student and just... You know, I, okay, one that's thing a, leads that's to a, that's a valid path. Yeah, if she goes from okay. her career into art, oh. I can see it. I can see it going. What type there. of art are you into? Is that what you ask? Yeah, and basically. then she says hentai. And I <laughs> said, "All right, let's do this." Oh, okay. And so, was it weird at all? Did you actually invite her to the meal at the funeral, or did that come a little later? I, I we exchanged numbers, and then I sent her a message. Oh, I see, good were man. You, so you were proactive. Were, I like that. Were you shocked that's that the number good. was genuine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was. Actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. And afterwards, you followed up, and did you get any insight as to why she stopped coming to your thing? I'm assuming it's because, well, one of two things: art students and art artists in general are flakes. Um, I have yeah. lots of friends. Now, that are see artists right there. Yeah, now, now, yeah, painful, any chance right? you have painful. it? Painful. Yes, flakes. art students. Anything in general are flakes. That yeah. you can't just that say that. Picasso. What? Yeah. A, how, how old is she? <laughs> um, you know what? I didn't even catch that. Well, what do you think? Guessing I would it. guess twenty five. Uh, okay. She's in that. She's in that. I'm. I'm too hot and I'm bitchy. Uh, yep. Age of her life where she does what she wants okay. and um, she gets what she wants. Matthew, you know, don't, listen don't, listen don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to Johnny misogyny. Really not going to help you here. Matthew, let me ask you this: Were you able to establish? Obviously, you're not a blood relative, but why was she at the funeral? How did she know your grandfather? She was a neighbor of my grandparents. So is there a way that you could sort of, you'll pardon the expression, of course, backdoor it and maybe <laughs> speak to... Rob. <laughs> what? Rob Spiewak, I thought question. better of you. And like if you could speak to the neighbor or the neighbor of a neighbor and say, hey, you know, what went on here? What went wrong? Because you know what? It sounds like you didn't do anything wrong as far as you know. Mm-hmm. And if you could figure out, maybe it's something That's silly. What chicks do though. Well, Why would he even bother? He is I'll tell you because what, he's boy. lonely and he needs love. It's Don't be He's got, to, he's he's got to go an time. extra mile. We all have our women. We all this have that. True. I all... require women. That's why I've been married three times. That's right, Mike. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I just so, want to find Pony a, a woman. I want yeah, him but to find this, love. This la- I'm not going to do anything this, about it. This but, young know. lady <laughs> may not be the right one, but you got your but hopes up. At and least yeah. worth another, yeah. t- and another text or something. So but, what was the last back and forth of the text? It was, uh, well, this is where I kind of figured she was giving me the, uh, the pre-treatment, okay. as I call it, where it's like, please don't ask me out. Sort of thing. Oh. Um, I, I just I asked her like what she what she likes to eat. You know, just a, a basic <laughs> and question. And then a like, winking emoji, Mike. Like? I think you know what I mean. She yeah. was in your how many times? So she came to your house one time. Uh, correct. How long did you wait to text her after you asked her uh, what do you like to eat? Um. Well, and I, was I, your follow up text going to be I know what <laughs> I like to eat? <laughs> 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 because that might have been oh, no. a little that awkward. That's where it all went south. That could have sealed the deal right there. That killed it right there. Oh, I can't go back there. Oh. How can long I, did you wait? Can, uh, let me it, go. Yeah, go ahead. Answer, answer that question. question. I, I, I would say after the first time we met up, I was another like two days and i, I asked solid, her solid yeah, just about solid right. i totally it agree with key, that low <laughs> pressure didn't want to <laughs> didn't want to scare her off Respect you know that. just uh, stage five clinger situation mm-hmm. right <laughs> and, I, and i got back an answer that was simply i'm very picky about what i like to eat which is uh, seems to me like please don't ask are me you me. Are you picking? No, 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 hold no, it. Stop no, right wrong. there. Stop it. This is you. This is where your confidence needs to be built up. You said, mm-hmm. I'm very picky. Uh, I would have responded. I would have lied, but I would have said, so am I. <laughs> yeah. No. So am I. You don't response. get a body like this without eating everything. Mike, <laughs> anything. <laughs> he could have made that a positive right away. He could have right. said, I'm an amazing cook, which you are. Mm-hmm. I would love to make a meal that you would like. Or I'd like to make a meal you mm-hmm. love. Either how one, long? Or, when, when did this? When did this go south? How long has it been since you've had any communication with uh, this person? Who you're obviously you know, about a month? It's, yeah, D- D- DOA. 
Dead on arrival. I don't it's know. Dumb. You mean, Oscar, there's no chance, I mean, right? The, Not going to happen? The, the Hail Mary, with, uh, uh, with all due respect, the, probably uh, your typical bitchy 25-year-old chick, mm-hmm. would have been for you to write back, so am I, uh, and it, you seem a little bit. Uh, you, you seem you seem like you, you're a little bit of a high maintenance uh, <laughs> woman, but 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 <laughs> let's don't you what, you write what? Hold on, are you giving him advice what? on how to how to salvage this? You seem no, like you're you a have, high maintenance I woman love when he walks out on this plane. Women love to be told what they actually are. <laughs> and they're not told okay. that enough. Okay, here so we go. So if he asserted All himself right. and All said, right, John Claude, this seems tell us like, exactly you what's seem going like on a here. high maintenance okay. uh, date. Before you go there, just yeah. a quick, do you have any other mm-hmm. relatives that are in ill health? Uh, yeah, two. Okay, <laughs> so there you have opportunities <laughs> for meetups. <laughs> in the, yeah, in unfortunately, the it's probably going to happen. All right, so I mean, that's that. Let's make those plans B and C. But Plan A is literally. And can they? Can most of them uh, thank the Philip Morris agency for not agency, no. the Philip agency. Morris company for this? Sorry, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Philip Morris. William Morris is the agency. That's right. Uh, I'm represented I don't by get, Philip God, Morris. So many different but, levels on but this the particular thing is, one. Bonnie, if we make that Plan B and C, is there a chance that that, that Rob will die before the show die, is over? That I will die. You'll meet someone at my funeral. Uh, <laughs> the question is, is that you have literally right now nothing to lose, right? Oh, absolutely. Give it one more try. Because and take no- the, go ahead. I'll even say take the Oscar approach. Oh, yeah. So you seem oh, like no. a bitch on wheels. Would you like to take those <laughs> wheels over to a food truck sometime? Yeah. You know, would you like to do that? How about we put the, the attitude aside once and let's just go and have a good time. Let's That's have right. Some drinks. Mm-hmm. That's right. Would you say that to her? Would you say put the attitude I've done, aside? Oh, I've, I've, and then text what, her as, a picture of your balls. As a younger, as a younger that's man, my move. I, that's what I would do. If a girl was just high maintenance and bitchy, I'd call her on it and say, "Let's." Do, hold on, do we have we even established whether she's she not, seems though. high maintenance? I'm a she's, very she's, picky eater. No, that is sorry. Are, are all these men falling all over that's themselves a, to take you I, out? I, mm-hmm. You know what? I wouldn't really like. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. Too maybe much I wouldn't like that text. Yeah, Too much I, interpretation. There's a the big fact market that, for anime chicks that the, are in art school. Yeah. No, but you see, tell you, she can be the high demand. The screwiest flake in town. But the fact that she just said, I'm a picky eater, was turned into, don't ever text me again by one yeah. guy. That's Which is wrong, wrong right, and Rob? Which wrong. is wrong. That's, that's wrong. totally. Pony, what yeah. did you like about this woman? I, I liked her. Cans. Cans? No. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it and let him answer, for Christ's sake. Come on. She, what she, did you she, like about her? She was very nice. I had an interesting just style about her in general. I usually get along very well with artists because. They're flakes. They're flakes, <laughs> and you're and a flake. I'm a flake. No, you're not. No, a flake. no. They, it. She just had a style about her that I kind of liked, and it's not very common to find girls that are in anime that are also attractive, and uh, and no. Can I ask you a question? Holy... Why is this anime so important to you? <laughs> well, it's what he loves. I, it's, it's, it's just what I love. I mean, it, I didn't know that. What they they mean the chi- the Japanese cartoons? Yeah, m- mm-hmm. a pony. Would you say that most women that are into anime are not picky eaters? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that are going to be really angry no, after no, the no. show. What about <laughs> Simply this? a joke. What about this? What about, okay, you take a different approach, right? In, instead of calling her out on, you know, just being difficult and <laughs> and, and uh, taking advantage of, the, you know, her apex in life. Uh, what I would say is you, you go back and you're assertive and you say, uh, uh, so am I. I've got a table for two this Friday night, and all you have to do is come over. Uh, the reservation's at seven. Uh, be uh, don't be late. This is my address. When you walk in the room, all uh, just you'll see me there, and we'll take care of business. Like then we'll have a great dinner. Now you see that's better, Oscar. That's like a that. more positive. Yes. Like that. Yes. Yes. A lot more yes. while still making. Hey, it well, but uh, hold on, because of the the aforementioned uh, difficulty with communicating with Oscar, I don't know whether he's waiting uh, in his boxers in his uh, apartment <laughs> or if he's taking her to a really nice restaurant. He's taking what, her uh, to what? a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, a table restaurant. for two isn't on his face. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I'm see. Not How about this? Can I can I offer my? I've been out of the game for a long time. Can I offer my two cents here? Please, Please. Larry. How about this? Uh, so she writes, "I am a picky eater." You write back, "Well, I know a place where all you have to eat is bread." <laughs> <laughs> Do you like carbs? <laughs> is there a celebrity she most resembles? Ooh, that's a, that's. A I know really oh, tough it's a one. really tough question. Oh, but well. you've been thinking about her for what <laughs> two months? So let's come up with something. Yeah, let's. How about let's forget food. Let's just concentrate on the drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. wait just a second here because it's time for 
intellectual effort. <laughs> I would say she's... Who's that chick from Hunger Games? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence? Ooh. Like a skinny, short, a little bit Jennifer Lawrence. It's the like closest I can get. That's nice. fantastic. That's she's not bad. She's she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Do a hell of a, a lot worse than that. Are you calling Jennifer Lawrence fat? That yeah, is yeah, I volunteer. <laughs> I volunteer as picky eater. No, I volunteer as picky eater. <laughs> 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 I hate you. Oh, this is the best show ever. Yeah. I just, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, I wish there were, look, we've tried for years. There's not, we're not going to be able to do anything to help him. Yeah. I mean, he's on his own. I he's comfortable we doing that. You should probably just hack her laptop and see what she's really up to. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll give Come that a shot. Let me ask you a shot. shot. Come over for dinner and bring your laptop. Yeah, don't get on my Wi-Fi. How do you know yeah. I have a Mac? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a drink I made you. It's called a Cosby. Now I want you to enjoy this. <laughs> Cosby colada. Yeah. Come on over, lovely lady. We're having octopus picky eater. Yeah. Anyway, we'll take yeah, a break. Pony, octopus. good luck. Keep us posted. Yes, Pony, don't I give will. up. I will. We'll check in uh, with you next year sometime. Uh, Thank we, you. Uh, <laughs> we, we hope you do well. Uh, we'll be back with uh, Oscar Razzi for the week right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. This week on the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Carlos says, sets the table like three days in advance. Says, well, I'm particularly uh, feeling uh, this premenstrual tension right now, and I'm looking forward to the one day because I'm just going to pick uh, Thursday. is going to be my day where I'm going to eat whatever I want. So she orders uh, pizza from a new place, and I had one slice. Is I it had from that the- new uh, pizza place, Mike, that's called Menstruonis? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a good sauce. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> That's fantastic. We're only open four days a month. Please stop by Menstroni's, the best pie you've ever enjoyed. The secret is in the yeast. Oh, no. uh, but anyway. oh, the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show, because five hours a week just ain't enough. Always available at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. You know, FanDuel is changing the way people play fantasy baseball, and they're making it more fun than ever. You can give every single game, every single game this season, the bottom of the ninth game on the line excitement with FanDuel.com. You know, got a little something in the game. You got sure. some skin in the game yourself. You'll enjoy the game Rooting more. Interest. FanDuel.com is the leader in one-day fantasy sports leagues with immediate cash payouts and entry fees that start at just a dollar. No season-long commitment. There are no upfront fees. Chris T. in Utah, let me tell you what he did. He turned a $2 entry into $8,000 on FanDuel. Mm. Join him and the over 1 million others who have already won money. Play today and you can win tonight. FanDuel.com is handing out more than $2.5 million every single day this MLB season. But you can't win if you don't play. Just go to FanDuel.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, use our code TMOS, and sign up today. Special offer for new users. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to 200 bucks that gets earned as you play. That's a bonus of up to $200. The offer is only good for the first 50 people that use the code TMOS. Just remember to enter the code TMOS at FanDuel.com. This offer ends soon, so sign up today. FAN N-D-U-E-L dot com, where every day is a brand new season. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to it for a fabulous Friday. Here he is, Oscar Santana and Oscar Razzi. Aye, 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 aye. Fellas. First yes. lady. <laughs> Bruce Jenner has yeah. a new career. Not just a new sex. Yes, a new gender. Yes. What is it? Apparently, he is going to be a motivational speaker. Well, wow, you know, well, I think I, he's he done that pro- already, hasn't he? Yeah, he's probably helped a lot of people. The one thing I said when I saw that uh, a week ago was the fact that that man probably saved some lives. A lot of people have Agreed. said that. Agreed. And, you know, did it, I mean, everybody in the country went the other way as far as the way they thought Bruce Jenner was going to come across. And I ended up really, really being proud of what he did. Look. Everybody's got their own trip. Everybody's got their own thing. But I think that there are people Game that are, are, are transgender, that know they're transgender, and I think having a guy like Bruce Jenner do such a beautiful job articulating yes. what that is helped a lot of people. So if he's still doing it to motivate people, go for it, yep. Bruce. Uh, this is an exclusive from Us Weekly. He said he wants to return to motivational speaking. As you saw in that special, if you got a chance to see, he had done that in the past. Right. He mentioned actually a particular story where he did a motivational speech, then went back up to his room and put on women's clothes. Yes. And he said he felt yep. like a total uh, hypocrite because he wasn't Do we have a timetable, incidentally, as to uh, when Bruce Jenner will be 
uh, showing us the uh, the new the new look. His new show debuts on E in mid May, if I'm not mistaken. So but it's, it's going to be the journey it, more than anything. Yeah, but right? we'll be able to see. Yeah, you're right. Right, because this but, but it's, and it's special not gonna, was done it's a while ago. And it's not going to get into the you know the details of uh, surgery and things like that. But it's going to show the finished product. Is oh, that yeah. uh, what we're gonna I see? imagine there's a payoff. All right, very right? good. I hope so. We'll figure yeah. out. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's great um, whether he, if you think about what he's, his story has transcended. It's transcended sports. Yep. At the highest level, and now really sh- social justice, where he's he's educating people about something that people in this country and around the world have been suffering for What's silently funny, for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've known it on this show for a long time, thanks to the transgen- transgender people that listen to this program. We were hip to this, that this was something where, is there a bug flying around There's in the studio? There's a bee in here, a, a yellow jacket. Yeah. That's a, I mean, it's massive. Uh, I can see it looks like a Boeing 747. Size. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, I, will, I will ask you this. Do you think that uh, we've known about it, and I think this also serves for people, the more they know about it, the more they can uh, be sensitive to yes, it. Yes, exactly. And a lot of comedians, especially a lot of people on the radio, still not really getting it yet, and uh, it takes some time to get through. But eventually, they will uh, they will get it. So that's 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 incredible. And they yep. should. Uh, moving along here, uh, this is for Rob Spiewak. Oh, thank you, Oscar. Uh, we've got the trailer for Bees. They're tearing my face off. <laughs> for oh Fifty God. Shades Darker was released yesterday. Oh, are you excited? I will take Carrie, and we will also be annoyed by this movie. I'm sure. <laughs> but I have. I promise you that we uh, as. Uh, you might not remember, uh, Carrie and I went opening weekend to see Fifty Shades of Grey, and we're both really, really troubled about just how bad of a film it was and the clientele that it brought in, mm-hmm. which was groups of women that were making one token guy carry all their snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. saw a lot but of that. When that. Hey, but when the lights dim, that guy... That's right. You know that happened. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's yeah. an awful yeah. big juju fruit. Uh, Fifty yeah. Shades <laughs> of Grey is being re- released on Blu-ray on May 8th. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is just in time to get people's appetite wet for that. Oh, get it uh, wet, Mike. You said wet. <laughs> just the appetite. Yeah. And really, you wet an appetite. It's mm-hmm. W-H-E-T, isn't it? Yeah. What, yeah. what I didn't know mm-hmm. is that they had... You know, it, there's three films, Fifty Shades Darker, which will come out on Valentine's Day 2017, and Fifty Shades Free, Freed, which is going to come out on February 9th, 2018. I didn't know that they already had these scheduled out. Wow. The well, trilogy. They, the trilogy. There yeah, is a trilogy I, I didn't of realize books. it was. Wow. Have you read all three? I haven't read any of them. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I've read them all. Have you? And your thoughts? Um, I'm waiting for the, uh, the, the other book that's going to come out, Fifty Shades Older. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mike, Thank you did you much. see Rosie O'Donnell's special on HBO? Or was it uh, Showtime? A comedy I special, saw the latest one. bits and pieces of it. I thought her stand-up was pretty terrific. Yeah, pretty good. Is this when she did the stand-up special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, HBO. Yeah, Oscar. she, she was, was really... HBO, right? yeah. She talked about her heart. That's when she talks about her heart attack. Yes. Uh, and she yeah, talks about her hot edgy. wife. Yeah, yeah, right? she's uh, yeah, she's talking about yeah, and then now they're on the outs. Correct? A strange wife, apparently Rosie O'Donnell's a strange wife, Michelle Rounds, and if you get a chance, to Google her beautiful lipstick lesbian. Okay, what you would think uh, she talks about in her special wants full custody of their two-year-old daughter, so they're in a custody battle. They're in a war of the Rosies. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? That was terrific. Pretty good for late in the week, don't you think? I love it. Apparently, Michelle is alleging that Rosie has 24-7 nannies um, that run uh, her child's life currently, and she wants uh, a, a childhood that's not full of nannies, and she wants to be hands-on, and she's fighting for um, you know, custody of their two-year-old daughter. Mike, how do you she think is... the nanny would sound when she greeted Rosalie O'Donnell? What? I'm How sorry, do you I think the that. nanny would sound when the nanny greeted Rosie O'Donnell? I don't get it. I'm I asking you to me. do friend Dresher. Oh, friend. <laughs> oh hi, Rosie. <laughs> All right. Now yeah, I want the cards today. <laughs> I was too busy looking at uh, Michelle Rounds. Your thoughts? And uh, yeah, she's attractive, but she's attractive in kind of a Glenn Close way. Oh, scary. You know what I mean? Where when gl- a younger like, Glenn Close. Does she yeah. look like she'd like anime? <laughs> 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 Is she a pick yeah. eater? Yeah, that's right. Probably hi, not Rosie. a pick eater, no. I want the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> 
You know, I always wondered what happened when uh, a Vegas show, uh, the star gets hurt. Yeah. Because uh, technically, their instrument is their voice. And like, especially those residency shows right? where they play mm -hmm. for months at a time. So they could hypothetically have some sort of set built where they could sit and sing, right? Sure. Or, or stay and embrace and, uh, themselves and sing. Apparently, this may be uh, the situation Britney Spears finds herself in it because she has <laughs> twisted her ankle. Oh, no. Uh, Britney's ankle. The video and the photos... Well, you've seen basketball players go up for uh, a dunk and land on their ankles. Sure. It, it looks just like that. And Ooh. imagine being on heel, it doesn't uh, hurt any less. Uh, they, they don't have details about the actual uh, performance and how it will affect the residency. Yeah, is she Oops. that's a hard rock, right? I did yes. it again. Mm -hmm. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> First time and last time you'll ever hear Mike O'Mara do a Britney Spears impression. Made the Thank bit you. work, though. I liked mm -hmm. it. And just uh, quickly, I'll leave you with this. I thought this was interesting. Sofia Vergara's ex uh, pleads to get our, our custody of Sofia Vergara's embryos that were frozen right. while they were in a relationship. No longer together, No right? longer together. He says that uh, he has a right to them as well. Sofia does not want them destroyed, but she wants them frozen you know, indefinitely. But he claims he has a right. He's going to court over those embryos because they had made a decision to freeze them together, and he would like to bring those embryos to term in one way or another. He said and you know that, what uh, she said? Uh, what's that? Uh, she said that, uh, all right, uh, I will, I'm sorry. I lost my, what were you going to say? <laughs> I go was going to actually say that. Go ahead, go ahead, Don. <laughs> all right. Uh, Rickles, go ahead. I didn't mean Don Geronimo, I meant Rickles. No, go ahead. It was actually true is that he's alleging that it's tantamount to murder yeah, by yeah, yeah, leaving yeah. them frozen indefinitely. So it's a, that's his case. So there are two embryos? There that, are that two embryos, and he's also coming off a breakup where uh, they broke up, and now she's with this like a ten of a guy mm -hmm. that that, and they're getting married. He, she's reengaged, but she has also does. agreed. I think she's coming to terms with uh, letting him have one of the embryos. I think I read that somewhere. Really? Huh. Yeah, I read a, I read a quote from her about it. And she said, "I don't know whether to give him the chocolate or the strawberry." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the gag I was going for in the first place. It was it was worth revisiting. It. I'm sorry. Is that Oscar Razzi? That is Oscar Razzi. Oh, yeah. Very good. We will take a break. Come back with our last audio vault of the week right here on the Bike Overa Show while you enjoy the song stylings of Stevie Wonder, everybody. It's Tony and Gary. Hey there, boys and girls. I'm Tony Perkins. Hey, I'm Jerry Lee Lewis. On the next episode of the Tony Perkins Show featuring Jerry Lee Lewis, Gary smells like candy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds attractive. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out why that is. Also, an update on Rob and his dating life. Right. And we play the Tony Perkins Really Hard Music Trivia Game. And you'll find out just how smart he is or isn't. Mm, be sure to subscribe to the Tony Perkins Show on iTunes. The Tony Perkins Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. I want to tell you a story about a young 13-year-old boy who went up uh, once again. Here he comes, that name again, my friend Joey's house. And yes. uh, for an overnight, we were going to actually sleep in uh, Stephen Dito Masso's camper uh, out in his front yard because right. uh, that's where his father kept it. And they gave us permission to do that. We met some of the neighbor girls, and uh, they made a concoction uh, from their liquor cabinet. And uh, we drank too much of it, and I got very, very sick. Mm. And I was so sick that I actually dragged my uh, my little blanket back home, uh, my sleeping bag, all the way through the woods Sad. and uh, scratched on my uh, sister's window. She burst into tears when she saw me, but my mama was absolutely devastated mm, and yes. very angry. Mom, I want to say I'm sorry, and that's why I'm sending you Pro Flowers. If you have tortured your mother like I tortured my mother, your mom deserves the best. Pro Flowers will make it easy for you with just a click of the mouse, and your mom deserves at least that. Oh, for our listeners, you can dazzle mom with 100 blooms and a free glass vase for just nineteen ninety nine from Pro Flowers. Or you can really impress her by adding chocolates and an upgraded premium vase for nine ninety nine more. Go to ProFlowers.com and use the code TMOS. Pro Flowers has an easy-to-use website that makes Mother's Day shopping simple and quick. There's no easier way to take care of your mom and say thank you than with Pro Flowers. They have all you need for your moms in one place. Order now, schedule delivery, and you're done. The flowers are guaranteed to be fresh and beautiful for seven days. The only way to get 100 blooms in a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com, click on the blue microphone in the top right-hand corner, and type in TMOS. That's proflowers.com. Click the microphone, and it's TMOS. Order now. Now, this deal expires Friday night. Be a good son, be a good daughter, yes. and say thank you to your mom. Are we done with this, Rob? I'm just kind of curious. You've done it all day, and now you're forgetting. Is that no, no. my thumbs up? Uh, no, Did I? Like, yeah, you're fine. 
We're set. Okay. Yeah. Just you do it. You know, you do it. It's, and sometimes you don't. That's okay. I uh, just wanted to make sure. Forgive me. I apologize. Okay, fine. Uh, let's uh, let's move on. That's it. It's time to open up the audio vault for today. This is Friday, the 1st of May, 2015. Rob Spiewak. And before we do the audio vault, I do want to send congratulations to Joe Pestka. Oh. Joe Pestka, who is our Pro Flowers winner for today. He That's won wonderful. $50 in Pro Flowers. Here is his one sentence that won him his flowers. Okay. I enjoyed it very much. My my mom deserves flowers from www.proflowers.com. Use the code TMOS because one time in high school, I threw a kegger with over 100 people. The police came, 14 people got arrested, and on an unrelated note, for the past eight years, I've lived in Korea. Now that is a great <laughs> sentence. And Joe Pesca, you will get $50 in uh, flowers sure, from Pro Flowers. There so thank we you very go. Much, Good Robbie. stuff. Now, Fantastic. Congratulations to him, and uh, enjoy your Pro Flowers. Your mom will. I hope she does. A uh, question for you, Mike. Now that we all use use our smartphones all the time do you remember as many phone numbers as you used to like by by a memory absolutely not uh, any new number that's been introduced to me in the last five years i don't no, know yeah. i don't know buzzfeed did a thing where they got uh, people that are dating significant others and asked them if they knew each other's phone numbers and this is so funny because they're not even close three f- no eight no four no one <laughs> <laughs> i don't know three eight six one no Eight, six, two, oh, yeah. nine, no, nine, seven, three, mm-hmm. seven, no, nine, seven, three, mm-hmm. seven, nope. five, six, six, two, five. Uh, 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 oh, damn, six, two, six, nope. I think it starts with a six, four, six. Nope. Because nine, one, three. No. Nope. Two, <laughs> one, five. Your nine, oh, eight. No. Eight, 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 one, eight. Eight, one, eight. Okay. Yeah. I got that. I know no one's current phone number aside from my number. You should at least know your boyfriend's number and your mom's number. I know my mom's phone number and my home phone number. I hope one day I get to learn his cell phone number. <laughs> we haven't hit that stage in our relationship. Yeah, we're not yet. there. That's like a three year mark. He's at the top of my favorites <laughs> list on my phone. There you go. So it's a three year thing. I know now. nobody's. I, I I know my my wife's and that's it. I don't even know my mom's. I remember phone numbers from growing up that I used to dial a lot, but I, I don't remember know my home knows. phone number from uh, you know thirty years ago. But yeah. that's about it. That's it. Yeah, it's just funny. No one remembers them anymore. I used mm-hmm. to be. I used to be really good at remembering phone numbers too. I'm and still I, good. I can gone. still like sit art. there. Somebody can tell me a phone number. I can get to my car, get out to my car in the parking lot, and I can still jot it down. I'm still good at that. I love Big Daddy uh, would still give out phone numbers the old-fashioned way. Where, like uh, He'd say, you know, if you ever need me, call me, Jefferson 2. Eight 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 zero. What was that about? What was that? The, Why we're done was he... by neighborhoods, and so like, oh uh, wow, he okay. lived in the uh, Kenmore neighborhood. He lived in Kenmore and worked in Jefferson, and so instead of saying five three eight, they would say Kenmore eight. Don't know why. That's just the way they did it. Instead of the area code? Yeah. Well, that was before, that predated area codes. Oh wow! So, but, but, but what did they? Well, what was the Jefferson? What was that? Jefferson was, that? was a Falls Church where they drink a lot. Jefferson two eight 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 zero. So what? I'm still confused by it. No, so that was, when they that would, would say it would replace the first two numbers with the letters that are on your phone keypad. So instead of saying five three two, you would say Jefferson two eight 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 oh. What about just remembering? Would the you first spell two the whole Jefferson? No, you would just do J E two. So that's, just j- that's the way they used to do phone numbers. And instead of saying J E two, he would say Jefferson. Yeah, that's the way they would say it because oh, that wow. like was their neighborhood. Very very odd. Very very odd. strange. Yeah, uh, very nice. uh, and confused. no wonder we. I'm so glad we project. Yeah. But progressed. <laughs> I know yeah. it is, but that was. I think those went away when we got area codes. I think that's mm-hmm. what got rid of them. Uh, in Australia, and they running love their, water. <laughs> 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 they love their rugby, and that's fine. But if you're going to give an interview, this guy, he's a rugby player named Nick Cummins. I almost understand what he says, then I lose it, and he comes and he goes. This is a thick Australian accent. Oh, mate, you know what? I sound like I've been bloody whacked in the Niagara Falls. Sorry about that, but. Look, I tell you what, mate, tonight, the last 20, the boys, uh, like, last week we, we sort of didn't fight it out to the end. This week we fought it out to the end, and we and the scoreboard were on their line for the last bloody 10. You know, the mindset was just, like, like bloody Burke and Wheels, you know, get up the guts and just press forward and wait till some bastard rescues you. Know, that was the main thing, just leave it all out there, and, oh, mate, I'm really shattered. It's quite an emotional uh, loss, but, geez, we're, there's a bee's uh, wanger in it, and um, we're not far off. <laughs> bloody oath. Then uh, see you, Blue. We're going to bloody kick the tyres and light the fires. So uh, get your Jexy down, bang it on a seat, and we'll uh, shake hands and tell a few stories after the game, eh? Okay, so I got like maybe 25% of that. 
That's yeah. what my JetBlue pilot said when he came out and talked to us when we had a little bit of a delay. What did he say? I loved it. I'd never heard it before. I've heard it twice now in three weeks. Yeah, I know it's not an uncommon saying, kick the tires and light the fires. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love that. I thanked him for it when we were getting off the plane. I said, hey, kick the tires, light the fires. <laughs> Thank you. He wasn't Australian, though. <laughs> Thick, Thank you. Thick South African accent. How did he talk? He, he has American accent. He just did no well, accent yeah. at all. But all right. because you played the Australian, I thought maybe a South African. <laughs> Kick the taters and lick the beans. <laughs> Diplomatic community. Love that. Love that. Diplomatic community. Uh, segue of the day goes to newscaster Robin Mead on CNN. Okay. Sometimes be familiar enough with your news copy to know how to start a break, and you will not get into this situation. <laughs> Jen and I are making fun of each other's appearance today. <laughs> look at her. I was like, you look like Fred Flintstone, like the tattered. And, and what do I look like, Jeannie? Jeannie. I said, okay, Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> 13 minutes past the hour. All said in love. All right. The captain of a ferry that sank off the coast of South Korea <laughs> has been sent to life. Whoa. <laughs> Not a great save. Beautiful, baby. Uh, better on ESPN, Shelly Smith. I love this. She's right now in Hawaii covering a player that's getting ready for the NFL draft. She is now cancer-free, but because of chemo, she has lost her hair. Okay. And she's very brave, and I love the way she addresses it. This is so awesome to me. It's windy here on Waikiki Beach, but for the first time in my career, I haven't had to worry about my hair. Aww. In Honolulu, I'm Shelly Smith, mm -hmm. ESPN. And I give her a huge thumbs up. I think that's so awesome when you can really – just humanize the whole process that they're going yeah, through. Yeah, that's Very guts. Cool. I like that. Uh, that that's good gun. stuff. And let's close musically, Mike. Christopher Walken has a new movie coming out. It's called <laughs> When I Live My Life Over Again. And you know what he loves to do. The man loves to sing and dance. Here's the singing of Mr. Christopher Walken. If I'd been born in Hindustan, I'd reincarnate like the Hindus can. I'll tell you, sir, I've got a plan when I live my life over again. He really does love musicals. <laughs> oh, my God. Walken. I love Walken. More He's Walken. the best. Anyway, That's Mike, separate. that is your Magic Audio Vault. Have a great weekend, everybody. Buddy, get us out of here. Thank you very much, boys. Hey, everybody, have a fabulous weekend, and I want everybody to know we got a great bonus show for you this yes. week as well. If you haven't gotten it yet, sign up for the bonus package. It's a great way to help the show. we got to get out of here. Have a fabulous weekend. We normally close a certain way, but I want to tell everybody it's been a rough week here in the D.C. area and the Baltimore area. You know, you got a loved one, give them a hug. you got a kid, give them a hug. You have a neighbor you haven't talked to in a year, talk to your neighbor. Love each other. Understand each other. Try to understand why people do what they do and try to make it better. Okay, everybody? Have a fabulous weekend. For Oscar Santana and Mike O'Mara, so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Whoa, 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 wait, don't go. I need to tell you that MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon is perfect for all your online shopping needs. Shop the best way. Shop Amazon. And please go through our website, always open at MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs>